I'm Kenzie. I've been to Disney World more times than I can count. My family grew up going there every single summer. I'm Harris. I was born in LA. I played Abu in a local play of Aladdin. We've both eaten at Club 33 twice, which is a secret restaurant you'll most likely never step foot in. We know our Disney. Kenzie and I just spent the day yesterday at Disneyland Paris, which is our first time going to that park. We felt that we owed it to fellow Disney fans to compare and contrast Disneyland Anaheim with Disneyland Paris. This is a comprehensive comparison of Disneyland Paris to Disneyland Anaheim. I think the overall park in, in Paris was better. I might agree with Specifically, that. Specifically, the first thing we noticed was the castle. You can't miss it. It's the just... castle at Disneyland Paris puts Anaheim's castle to, I mean, it makes it, looks like a, it makes it look like a shack. It's massive and it's beautiful and there's like two stories you can go, I know you can, there's like two stories in the one in Anaheim, but like, it's not like a tiny little corridor you walk through. There's like no, an upstairs and a balcony. I feel like the Disneyland Anaheim castle is like to scale. Like they really had to like kind of Force perspective. This castle was like genuinely just massive. Yeah, like someone in Paris was like, hey, so how about we actually make this a castle? Paris but, has like all the same lands that Disneyland has. It has Frontierland, Adventureland. And they're all like, you know, you go through on the left side, there's Adventureland, then Frontierland, then behind the castle you got Fantasyland. Fantasy Land, and then you got Tomorrowland on the right, which is actually called Discovery World. I, don't I thought know. they were gonna call it Manana Land because we're in France. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> but at the same time different in the sense that it's massive. It feels so much bigger. And I feel like just, I mean, LA is like in general, like California is just so cramped that they didn't have a ton of space. Whereas like this just felt like room to breathe and just like the rides felt like they had more space. You go, this is, this is Disney, like this is Disneyland. You're gonna go there, it's gonna feel like Disneyland, but because the parks themselves are so different, like it's like a whole new, it's like you're, it's like they rebuilt Disneyland and it's a whole new adventure. It was really cool. In California, you go, you get your ice cream, you get your churro, you stop at like all the same spots when you go. You get your Monte Cristo for New Orleans Square, you get your bread bowl, you get like all these different food items that you know and love. Like it was totally different here, which I loved because it's like a whole new world. Um, to experience. Like, there aren't churro carts, but they do have crepes and beignets, which are French fare. And I feel like a lot more of the restaurants were European. There was more restaurants in general. It was healthier and better quality. Yeah, like the pizza came with like a salad and a fruit cup. I just felt like the food was great. I loved it. Oh, you got fresh cotton candy, which I'm sure they have in Disneyland Probably. Anaheim, but I've never gotten it there. Yeah. Um, which they call it Barbea Papa. Barbea Papa. Barbea Papa. Barbea Papa. Yeah, just food good. I mean, they had their classic Disneyland rides. You know, they had Haunted Mansion, which is a little bit updated. It was which a little they, bit better. They call it um, Phantom Manor. Oh, that's right. They call it Phantom Manor here. So real. They got all the classics. They might be because they were built a little bit newer. I feel like they were a slight, slight upgrades, but for the most part, they're pretty much the same. The <laughs> lines were really long. Here, we'll talk more about that later. So we didn't get to go on as, you know, need not even half the rides, but like we went on in their second part, kind of like their California adventure, which is called like Disneyland Studios. They had a couple rides that, a lot were, of rides. that were, that we don't have. In they America. have like Toy Story Land. Yeah, they got Toy Story Land over there, which is kind of like our Bugs Life Land, but it's like toys instead of it bug stuff. Cool. It was really cool. And they had some rides there that were amazing that we don't have. They had a Crush Coaster. Crush Coaster, which is from Finding Nemo, was you're on like a spinning shell. It was like basically Space Space Mountain if you were also spinning and going faster. We got off the ride and we were like <sighs> <laughs> Space Mountain. <sighs> I don't think I can go on Space Mountain in Anaheim anymore. This Space Mountain was so good. It was like if you took California screaming and like com like mixed it with Space Mountain or Hyperspace Mountain. And Space Mountain and, and Star Wars. It was it was so, so good. good. You see people coming like off of it when like the cart comes up and their hair is like 
crazy blown back. You go upside down. You go in like like corkscrews. It was it was it was amazing. That's how you know it's good when your head hurts when you get off. Um, but there was a deadly sin among the rides in Disneyland Paris that I just can't forgive them for. What? Oh. There was no Splash Mountain. This is something I wanted to talk about a lot because so far, just about everything we've had has been positive about it. This was, there was a lot of, first of all, there's a lot of smoking in Disneyland, which it says smoking's not a lot, but nobody enforces it. Yeah. And so half the park smelled like cigarettes. And that was, that, that just pulls you out of it in general. That's the thing about Disneyland that makes Disney Disneyland. They're training and there's like you do you this, these are words you never say to people. This is you are always in character while you're out there. The the experience, in the Disneyland magic Anaheim. is the key. Like who did you give a magic moment? That's the thing. Like who did you give a magic moment to today? Like in Haunted Mansion in Disneyland Anaheim, you they're like walk to the dead center of the room and they're With like the guy here we're was like, dying to see you. And here they're just like silence please, get to the middle of the room. Like on that Crush's coaster ride right in the very beginning when Squirt is like telling you, like giving you the intro to it's the like ride. Somebody just went over the intercom like super loud, right here, blah, 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 said something really loud. Like we missed the beginning of the ride. The parades at night in Anaheim, like they have like the glow sticks and the lines and they make sure like everything's in order and like it's safe. And when we were there, it was just pure chaos. People were like blocking, like people are sitting on the grass, which like I feel like is just a big no-no. Mm -hmm. in like Anaheim and I just feel like there were kind of like no rules and like the employees kind of didn't care as much. It made it feel more like a, an amusement park than a magical experience. The I park, feel like it definitely pulled park it down to The is amazing and it's beautiful, but the experience just, their their level isn't the same as what it is. And maybe that might be why, uh, part of the reason might be because Disney never stepped foot in the park. He didn't probably. get to like put his little print on the park. <laughs> <laughs> You aren't gonna be able to do everything in one day. The park is bigger, the lines are longer, there are more rides. You, you, if you can, if you can swing it, plan two days. Fast passes sell out at like noon. I don't know if they give fewer fast passes. We got there at noon and all the fast passes were gone. There were, I thought, I thought there was something broken with them. We were asking about, asking people like, what's going on? They're like, oh yeah, we're just sold out. They sold out of all of them by noon. So make sure you get there when yeah. they open and get your fast passes quick because they don't, there's not very many. Make sure you buy tickets before you go, like buy them mm -hmm. online because when we got there, there was like a line a mile long uh, just waiting to get tickets. Mm -hmm. Um, and we I bought ours online and we just walked right in. And if you're gonna watch the fireworks, get a spot in the grass. Yeah. Because <laughs> apparently they're totally cool with you <laughs> jumping the fence and sitting on the grass. The grass would have been a lot more comfortable yeah. on the ground. <laughs> like we were, we didn't realize till we were walking out and there were like three groups of people sitting in the grass, like behind those short fences. That like, if you'd done that in California, like you that's a big no. Not no, you'd been like kicked out of the park. Like you don't yeah. do that. They're just sitting in the grass. So sit in the grass for the last for the end of the show. <laughs> Which one do you like more? I think Paris has that novelty to it that I appreciate. I also appreciated that like announcements were in so many different languages. There's so many people from like all over the world there and it had that like European, you know, vibe to it. I don't know. Maybe it's just the novelty of it, but I I like Paris a lot. If I was going like with you or by myself, I'd probably go to Paris, but with when we have kids, mm -hmm. absolutely Anaheim. Just them like you just can't beat the the magic experience. And like literally the the way the employees treated the magic experience kind of ruined it for me. Comment below if you've ever been to Disneyland Paris or Anaheim and which one you think is best and why. Or if you want us to do a review of any other Disneyland park in the world. Which one, which one do you want us to do next? Let me share this whole new world with you. I hate myself, I hate myself, <laughs> I hate myself, kill me now.